After Blaise Matsuzi in 2018, Sia Colissi in 2019, and Lionel Messi last year, it's a great honor to welcome Rudy Gobert to the Champion for Peace Club, a collective of 115 athletes socially engaged alongside peace and sport. Your social commitment is highly impressive. Could you tell us when and how it started and what is the mission of the foundation? You know, I've always, uh, I think growing up, you know, growing up uh, in a small town in France and, you know, uh, I've always, you know, I, I didn't grow up with a lot, but I've always seen my mom, uh, you know, uh, give like 10 euros to the homeless or, you know, always trying to help out when like we, we were already struggling, but she was still, you know, helping our people. And I think it always stuck with me. And, you know, when I finally got to the NBA and, uh, you know, I was able to, to earn a, a good living, you know, I've always tried to do a lot of things to, to help uh, you know, people in need. After a few years in the NBA, when I signed my first, uh, my first big contract, so it was my fourth year in the NBA, I really thought that, uh, you know, by creating my own foundation, I was going to be able to have a bigger impact. What does it mean for you to be uh, a role model for the youth? I mean, it means, it means everything. You know, I think, uh, you know, obviously I, I was blessed, you know, with the ability to, to be a good basketball player, but it puts me in a position where a lot of kids are watching me and they're not just watching the way I play, they're also watching what I do off the court, the way I conduct myself and, you know, uh, and that means I have, a, I have a role, you know, I have a, a responsibility to, you know, try to bring something to these kids and, and, and uh, try to impact their life, you know, in a positive way. So, you know, try to embracing that and, and uh, you know, and take advantage of that and, and you know, and play my part to, you know, uh, make the world a better place. I think it's something that I, I realized uh, pretty early and, uh, you know, and, uh, and it's, a, it's a responsibility. So I try to, you know, every day with, you know, with the project that we do, the, all the great organizations that we work with, you know, we, we really always uh, keep that in mind. And, uh, you know, and it's, it's, a, it's also great, you know, it's a great feeling for me to, uh, to bring some light into these kids' lives. What made you want to support Peace and Sport, the Peacemaker Program project in uh, Rwanda? You know, I think uh, they do a lot of great stuff. What they've been doing in Rwanda is, you know, I think something that's, you know, sometimes people forget that, uh, you know, we're really blessed to live in, you know, uh, some countries that uh, haven't been going through like war or through really, really bad events lately. So, you know, be able to do stuff in Africa and, and in Rwanda in particular, where like a lot of kids are, you know, in awful situations, is uh, something that I think is, is important. I met with them, you know, uh, I got a chance to meet with them in, in Monaco and to hear, you know, the things they were doing. And, uh, you know, I thought that it would be important for us to, to help and, you know, and, and br do our part, you know, trying to bring some light to the project. and. Uh, I'm really grateful and proud that we were able to do that. Thank you for your support. And uh, last question, what does it mean for you to be a champion for peace? You know, it means a lot because it's, like I said, you know, uh, being a good basketball player is great, but I think uh, as professional athletes, as personalities, you know, people that have been watched uh, and that, you know, uh, kids look up to, mm -hmm. uh, being able to lead by example. It just uh, sets the tone for the next upcoming generations and kids that, you know, hopefully, you know, kids that see what I'm doing or, you know, uh, get to get inspired by what I'm doing. Uh, going to do the same for other kids, you know, when they get older. So, you know, it just, uh, yeah, it's just hopefully created a chain reaction and, you know, it makes the world a better place. On behalf of Peace and Sport, we're delighted to reward him for his impressive commitment on and off the field of play. His work in favor of disadvantaged children through his foundation is a powerful example of peace and social commitment. Becoming a champion for peace is changing the game through sport.